Hello friends, welcome to Info Food YouTube channel. Today we'll discuss about the minimum height coding problem. So this question was asked many times in Nagaro coding test. So this is a very very important question, and we'll see the solutions in C++ language. So the question is here: uh, if the in order and level order traversal of a tree are given. What is the minimum height of the tree? So this is the questions. Hope you all know what is the in order traversal and the level order traversal. So here are three inputs are given, and you have to return the minimum height of the tree. So the first input is the in order traversal of the tree. So this is the in order traversal of the tree. is given and in the second input the level or traversal of the tree is given and in the third input there is a number n so which is the which is the number of nodes in the tree so the tree is basically like this so here you can see in the input to the level or traversal is 1 2 3 3 so 1 2 3 means so in the first level there will be 1 and the second level there will be 2 And three. So the level order traversal is one to three. So one. Then in the second level, this is two and three. So we can uh, check if the in order traversal is matched or not. In order traversal is given as two, one, and three. So we'll check the in order traversal. First will be two, then will be one, and then will be three. So here you can see that the in order traversal is matched two, one, and three. So the height of the tree is so basically the minimum height of the tree is so this is height one and this is height two so the minimum height is two okay so we have to write the code for this problem so we'll use the Q concept here so here we'll write the code so first of all uh, choose the C plus plus language here and then start writing the code. So as include IO stream as include Q. Because we are using the Q concept here, so that's why I have write it here. So then you know what you have to write. Using namespace standard, and first we'll write the main function here. So in the main, then there was three inputs. So in the first, there was a in order traversal. So we'll write an integer array of in order traversal, and our input will be. Two, one, and three. And for the second, there was a level or a traversal. So L level or a traversal. And the input was one, two, and three. So in our next. Our input was n, and okay, let's see. Uh, third input was n, and the number of elements. So here will be three. And next we'll output and write a function mean height. And we'll first this in level. And in here, okay. So before this main function, we'll write this mean height function. So the return type will be integer because you can see here our return type is an integer, so our output is an integer. So we'll write here an integer, and then mean height. And insert this. We'll write the same thing 
what we have uh, right here so we'll copy it and paste it here okay okay so int level and int n so first we'll write integer i equals to one so next we'll write a queue so okay uh, the type of the queue will be integer type and we'll take two queue suppose q1 and q2 so we need two queue and we'll first store the uh, store these values this one value in the level or traversal into the q1 so for that we'll write q1 dot force and then level level of what level of zero okay so next we'll write uh, suppose there is an integer variable k and we'll store into it one and there is another integer height and the height initial height is uh, zero so first what we'll do here uh, we'll check using a while loop if the q1 is empty or q2 is empty or not if these are not empty uh, then we'll do some operations so while while not q1 dot empty so when q1 not equals to empty that means q1 not equals to empty so when the q1 is not empty that is some value is into the q1 q okay or not q2 dot empty then what we'll do we'll check again if not q1 dot empty so if not q1 dot empty so because uh, we have two conditions here q1 dot empty and not q1 dot empty and not q2 dot empty so we'll check if this this particular uh, condition satisfied or not so we have to write the if condition here if not q1 dot empty that is there are some values in the q1 then what we'll do we'll just increase the height value and next we will check again by using a while loop of this while while q1 not equals to empty then we will do these operations will write an uh, variable here suppose integer well and uh, will store the front value of q1 so the front value of q1 is uh, level 0 so 0 value in the uh, level or traversal so this is the front value 1 so we'll store this into the variable well so we'll write here q1 dot front so q1 dot front and this value will be stored into the val variable okay next we will write a for loop and uh, we'll iterate from 0 to n minus 1 so for int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus and inside this for loop we'll again check if if the inward traversal of i so the i value in the inward traversal is equals to equals to uh, the variable well then we'll just uh, break out of this loop so we'll write break here again we'll uh, write uh, if condition here if if i greater than zero and in of i minus one not equals to not equals to minus one 
एंड के लेस देन एन देन वी जस्ट पुश द के पोजीशन वैल्यू इन द लेवल और ट्रैवर्सल देन वी जस्ट द के पोजीशन वैल्यू इन द लेवल और ट्रैवर्सल इनटू द क्यू टू फॉर दैट वी विल राइट क्यू टू डॉट पुश लेवल लेवल ऑफ के सो द के पोजीशन वैल्यू विल बी स्टोर्ड इनटू द you do and next we'll increase the k value so again we have to check another conditions if i less than in minus 1 and in the in order traversal the i plus 1 value i plus 1 value not equals to minus 1 not equals to minus 1 and k less than in if if these three conditions satisfied if any of these conditions fails to satisfy then this if condition will not will not work so if these conditions satisfied we'll just do the same thing here what we have uh, done here so we'll just copy it and we'll just paste it here q to dot fours level of k plus plus finally in the in order the i value will be minus 1 and will pop the q1 value q1 dot pop so friends that's it and for the q2 also so this condition is for q1 so while q1 not equals to empty so this condition is for q1 and for q2 we'll write the same code so we'll just copy it from here okay only this portion we'll copy it and paste it after this and we'll change change and we'll replace the q1 value with the q2 and the q2 value with the q1 so we'll paste it here okay so we'll just change the q1 value with the q2 so this will be q2 and this also will be q2 and here is a q2 so this also will be q1 so this will be q1 and here is q1 so this will be q2 and finally what we'll do here we'll just return the height return h o g h t and will return the height here so friends our code is complete now we'll run the code and see if it works or not so friends our output is 2 and we'll check what was our output so our output was also 2 and we'll uh, check the code again by giving another inputs so you can uh, see in the nagaro coding test there was two different test cases was given so our input was like this 4 2 5 1 and then 6 3 7 and our level or traversal was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and our number of nodes was 7 and it will give the output as 3 so let's check by running it okay our code is compiling okay our output is 3 so friends you can check it by draw the tree using this level order and in order traversal and you can see that the height the minimum height of the tree will be 3 so this is the output and this is the full code so friends hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and if you not subscribe to our channel yet please subscribe it now so friends thank you for watching this video